All right, welcome back. We are in Forever Skies again. I am happy to be back. This is the gardening update. It's technically gardening plus because, as you can see, we have some very fancy cockpits, including an inverted cockpit. So this one uh, is a 500 kilo challenge build. I will show you. I am at 474.6, so it leaves me just exactly enough space to drop a 25 kilo item like the upgrade workstation and it'll be a 499.6 i can't go any higher this is i'm calling the mini greg and the mini greg is for a reason so greg is a community manager over at far from home really nice guy he made a joke as i kept kind of uh edging them on, pushing them about, hey, when's the when's the patch going to hit live? Because I want to play with these inverted cockpits and the bloom cockpits and all that. And he's like, ha ha, yeah, you just want to make an all-cockpit airship. So I made an all-cockpit airship. I mean, Greg, you're not going to joke around with me like that and expect me not to do something about it, right? So this is two cockpits. There's no rooms in this at all. Uh, I found out, thanks to a friend that also plays Forever Skies, Joni, um, that you can attach the balloon to an inverted cockpit as if it were an anchor room. It becomes the anchor room. So it is a little challenging because obviously you can't get out of just, like if I had a normal cockpit here, I wouldn't be able to get out because you'd be in an enclosed bubble. And we don't have a way to teleport out of these things just yet. So... Uh, you ha I use the Bloom 3 wide and it is kind of a pain because you know you'll have your regular ship and then you have to put this thing off to the side to be able to build it. So same standard configuration I normally do. You've got the three upgraded engines in the back. It gets me to about 94 with appropriate wind and with 100 being the cap. And then you got the dual engine or turbines, the upgraded, that gets me to 300 MASL, which was the original cap. 320 is now the cap. So I keep one in my box that I can stick on the side of the ship to get to high point. So it does have uh, your standard docking plank that I can get out and, and go and reach a place if I need to. It's also a way that I can get up to the turbines or anything to, or the engines to do anything. I move the cockpit back or the uh, docking plank back and I can reach up there and I can fuel up those. So some of the outside you will notice, I'm actually going to raise this up a little bit. I'm going to show you something and then we'll, we'll look at the interior. So if you notice, I am walking on pipes and I'm not falling down to the ground. So I found that pipes, since they weigh nothing, I'm able to remove some of these, and of course it's raining, it's always raining. It's always raining in my videos too. Uh, so the catwalk, it weighs four, which is absolutely absurd that it weighs four. Hey, fine, uh, FFH, fix that, make it weigh one at, at the very least. But give us outdoor uh, floors back now that we can't do false room. So since you can walk on these, that allowed me to take two off there. There's eight, uh, there's another four, there's another four, and there's another four. And I can get all the way around this without falling down. It's fantastic. Right here is a little bit of a squeeze. So I put this as my new kind of railing concept where I placed, obviously, I had the uh, catwalk down, placed the new glass, uh, da -da -da -da, glass short railing. It only weighs one. That is great. And then I placed on here the picture frames, which weigh nothing. And it gives me a fantastic thing that I can't fall out. I can't get out this way because I put him in its place to guard the uh, water intake. And another one here. And then I've got uh, the cone like you see in Edinburgh. The cone that's sitting on the dude's head. I don't remember the name of the statue. And even posters work. So I can't get past this. So it's a perfect railing system to keep me from falling off and then when I get up here I can get around to do everything. So we'll set her back down and we will go through the rest of the tour. I re So the funny thing is um, as soon as someone told me that they did, uh, Joni told me that she found out by accident that you could place uh, the balloon onto an inverted cockpit, I'm like okay that's it, I'm gonna make the most ridiculous ship you've ever seen 
just you know straight up in cockpits but i i like it i think it looks really cool it's a little front heavy because of how big the bloom cockpit is but i'm i'm, I'm okay with that i think it it looks very neat for for what a ship is so here's your standard dump you know i'm a little bit over on some of the things i'll put it in there and we go this way so we have the water collection pipes go up we go up through a socket socket goes inside and feeds the gardening upstairs back here with filtering deck that's one of the requirements i always have for the 500 kilo ship i can collect my food i've got the same normal storage that i do out here uh some stuff i've got all my seeds a little bit of my uh uh not diseases but i'll figure it out one of these moments anyway uh now we can place posters over I, I shouldn't say now it's been for a minute we can place posters over storage so i kind of hid the storage by putting a poster over it i think this works really well i love the large freezer uh it's just absolutely fantastic uh now here's another thing i have six and i think if you did it really really tight you could fit seven uh storage boxes underneath here so i have my standard set of mats which i used a bunch on this build so i had, had to rebuild it now there is a problem with this and i'll grab this to show you this is known by uh far from home they they are aware of it it has something to do with me placing this floor down so when i went to put floor and then i painted the floor prior you know you have those four black squares you can no longer place anything on it because of the floor until you get to here now i personally think it has something to do with this because it says cannot place on a slope i can actually mount things to that i can mount things to the wall but i can't put anything underneath it which is a little weird now this is the rear right the rear left it does not have exactly the same problems it does have a problem but it's not as severe as the rear left so they're working on it hopefully they'll get it fixed uh, I really like some of the scrolling of the Bloom cockpits. They're just It's just really cool. The stairs are amazing, but I love how you can fit a few things up underneath. So that's really cool. Standard workstation uh, for doing your tools. Up here, uh, I did splurge a little bit by putting a table that I didn't necessarily need. I just really like the... Uh, look of this type of material and it looks very good inside of one of these big large cockpits uh, it really boosts it out there now this is because this is my 500 kilo build i don't have all of the i'm missing the ukrainian plate and the incense i think are the only two but i've got my my standard chair or chaise long but i've only got the one piece instead of the two pieces like i normally do of course you've got to have the best chair I don't really love the sit animation to be honest but it's just man the view from this thing is just absolutely fantastic even at nighttime so we'll get up here uh, the standard thing where I figured out if you put it up against the glass you can actually slope items and that's something not a lot of everybody knows about this is a new design that I came up with for this build so I just put them vertically, lean, leaned them up against the glass. I should say set them against the glass like you would normally a shell, but doing them vertically, I was able to make this really interesting structure that I put the uh, secret plant inside of, and I think it worked really well. Let's drink some water while I'm standing here. So in this one, I have my own kind of uh, captain's quarters. You come down here, I separated with railings. So we have our, our own space. We can come in here, we can sleep, everything works just fine. I'll go ahead and get our timer back up. And you can see I have more things. Now I have a, a built-in television, sort of. It kind of hovers at the edge. It's a little weird, the collision mesh. but So this side isn't as bad. There are things I can fit. Obviously, I was able to fit that. Uh, I was able to fit the bed, but still, there's a good chunk of the left rear where you can't place anything on the floor, but it's not everything. I am able to place storage down. So maybe it's something to do with collectibles specifically because storage boxes work fine. 
I actually had one there in the corner for a little bit. So, we've got my traditional picture framed lead zeppelin, and that's how you come in with the pipes. I didn't get that quite straight, but it's kind of a challenge working with those things. And then we come up to the piece de resistance, the gardening update. So this is full. I've got both gardening posters. Pretty cool posters they added. Very nice indeed. This is a double large t uh, sprinkler system. I have three large plants and two small plant uh, planters, I should say. I'll show you what those are here. If I click the right buttons. So big garden plot, small garden plot. And it depends on what you're uh, planting in here as to whether or not what you need. So if you want these lilies, it takes a big plant. If you want these pig smile, it takes a small plant, etc. and so forth. And now this inverted does not have a lot of space. Getting this thing right up here, as you can see, I have this weird almost 90 degree. It was a huge, huge pain. Like it, it was seriously annoying. I want to show you something. I'm going to go ahead and drink another drink because I don't think everybody knows about this. So right now I'm down to 15, but I'm full on the uh, dirty water. So if I come down here and I take some of this dirty water, so you know we have this tank, right? And I have a collector outside connected to that tank. This thing is constantly collecting rainwater and shoving it inside. So if I come up here, now that I have five available, I go to this big, huge, dirty water tank and watch. I just filled my dirty water tank. Now here in a moment, that thing's going to turn back on and it's going to refill this tank back up. And look how little I took. I took five and it was that little bitty bit. I don't know how much this thing holds, but it's a hell of a lot. The sprinklers do all work. It's all full of water, but they do all work. I, I leave them off so it's not constantly running that thing down there. And then just standard kind of storage stuff up here. Nothing spectacular. I do have all the tools. So, for example, the upgraded workstation, which is the the heaviest of any of the stations. I just plop it down, and now you'll see I'm at 499.6. I literally can't get any bigger. But it is a fully capable 500 kilo ship. I actually have more items in this ship than I do in a normal 500 kilo ship. Like, I have the... What's this thing called? The med pod, med bay. I even have that in here because it's part of the storyline. I'm not going to go too much into it. I don't want to spoil it for those who have not done it. Uh, speaking of one thing, dust daisies. Dust daisies are amazing. Uh, I haven't done the full test yet, but I'm pretty sure dust daisies provide the most food that you can eat total uh, better than what we used to do, which was, um, I don't know about better, the same as Luling Cricket because it was 50 and I believe the Dust da Daisy gives 50 or 60. It's quite a bit. So I grow Dust Daisies in here. Nice little plant orientation. I like it. Very nice ship. Uh, very, very easy to fly. Uh, great sight lines. I mean, when I'm on this, this is what all you see. Yeah, of course it's raining because it is always raining. FFH, if you're still watching, if you're even watching, please give us a, an option in the settings to either dramatically reduce or outright turn off the weather so that we can actually make videos where it's not raining the whole time. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.